San Francisco. Hey guys, welcome back. I am finally doing a review of the Urban Decay Electric Palette and this is $49. You can get it at UrbanDecay.com. You can get it at Ulta, Ulta.com. And this is a pretty hellaciously cool palette. Now I know that this may not be for all of you, but I will be doing a makeup tutorial soon to show you that you can make it wearable. I know it's a lot of bright, um, colors and a lot of you all don't like bright colors but I'm gonna be doing a bunch of different looks with this for those of you who do love color and those of you who just want to try to incorporate it into your everyday look. This palette comes with 10 pressed pigments that's the difference um, between this palette and most eyeshadow palettes or other Urban Decay palettes. These are pressed pigments and let me just tell you they are so damn pigmented that it is amazing and this is still in the box and you have all the color shades in the back it does have a warning it says slow burn savage jilted and urban are not intended for use around the immediate eye area I've used them all around my eye area and they haven't done anything to me but you want to be careful with the colors that they say on the back that um, I guess they could do something to your eyes I really don't know like I said um, I'm taking this out this is what it looks like it's such a cute packaging it's plastic open it up and you have your shadows and your mirror let me put these up close these are all the beautiful colors that you get they are just so beautiful and you also get a double-ended brush and I can honestly say this is one of the best brushes that comes with uh, eyeshadow palette. I don't really care for the other brushes that come with the other Urban Decay palettes from the Naked 2 and the Naked 3, but this one looks like this. I don't know if my camera will focus. There we go. This one's really nice. You can get a lot of definition with this one and you can pack on color really well with this other side. So I've swatched these for you and I'm going to go ahead and name them out to you. This is Revolt at the top followed by Gonzo, then you have Slow Burn, Savage, and Fringe. Starting at the top, you have Chaos, Jilted, Urban, Freak, and then Trash. Then I am wearing Freak right underneath my lower lash line just for a pop of color. So these are like bam in your face, hella pigmented. And I just want to show you these swatches because this is one of the best and most pigmented pressed pigments that I have tried. I mean, they are just really gorgeous. And a lot of people saw this palette and they're like, oh no, that is not for me. I do not do bright colors. And I thought the same thing at first, but no, I have been able to do so much with that, especially with this one right here. Revolt, you can do a nice sandwich smoky eye, like put it right in the middle and do a little smoke on the outer, smoke on the inner, and it looks really good. Like I did with Freak on the bottom. You can do that with this or with Gonzo, just do a little pop, like a little line underneath the eye, which will look great. Um, in the outer corners, you can use any of these colors and just make them work. That's why I wanna do a couple of tutorials to show you all how you can um, fit this into your everyday or even if you're like going out, you know, date night, this is perfect for Electric Daisy Carnival, which I think is this weekend, next, I forgot when it is, but it's sometime soon. So if you like festivals or carnivals, this is a palette for you as well. I think this can be incorporated into so many different looks. You just gotta look at it, you know, think creatively on how you can use these colors especially this one slow burn that is really pretty for the summer and that is this one right here and you don't have to use it like really really dark and pack it on you can blend it out and kind of make it lighter and make it really really pretty for the summer this palette to me is worth it for myself and I think a lot of you all could put this to good use but then again some of you all might just be like uh I don't want to even try it. It just looks too bright, too loud, too out there. $49, and one thing I'm going to tell you, some people said that it does stain their eyelids. I have not had a problem with it, but I do use the 
what is it, the Neutrogena um, oil-free makeup remover. That gets everything off of my eyes and it helps if you have sensitive eyes, use that one. And the Sonia Kashuk, I've used that with this too. The Sonia Kashuk eye makeup remover totally gets this off and it does not stain your eyes. So, but be careful because if you do not have access to those kind of removers, then I can see why you might have an issue just because they're so hella crazy pigmented, you know? They're just, oh my gosh, they're just beautiful. But like I said, I do not have any issues. So that is my review on this palette. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of different looks with it. Some to wear on the daily, some not. Maybe some cut creases and some crazy ass looks because I know some of you guys really love that. But thank you guys so much for watching. For those of you, you're probably gonna ask where I got this necklace. And I got it at hotemetal.com. So cute, as well as these isosceles earrings. And then this bracelet. And I will put a link down below so you guys can check it out and see if you wanna buy stuff. And I might do a jewelry haul, I'm not too sure right now. Actually, I will do a jewelry haul because I really like the stuff they have on there. It's really, really nice and I just thought this was so cute. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, this palette is not gonna be for everybody, but maybe if you just step out of the box a little bit, you don't have to make yourself look like a clown and look all crazy. You can actually use this and make them look wearable. You can actually pop a little bit of trash, which is this yellow right here, just in the inner corners of your eyes. That is a really hot look to do right now, especially for summer. So you can do a lot of different things with this palette. Um, look up stuff online, YouTube, Google. I'll be doing some tutorials. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.